Hello everybody, I'm uh, Leonardo Barilaro, the space pianist. And today I have uh, the pleasure of uh, being here in Sydney that I'm discovering just a little bit. I would love to have more time and it's amazing. And I have the pleasure to share with you the concept of music from space. And I hope that by the end of this uh, uh, short session, you will uh, uh, have a better idea, at least have a glimpse in uh, also what I do. So I will talk uh, about the general concept, uh, about uh, one big project, Astrobit, um, and the more recent one, uh, Listen. So I am uh, the space pianist, why? Not only because it's a very cool name to use on social media, but because I'm an aerospace engineer and uh, a pianist. When people ask me, ah, but do you play just for fun? I say, no, I have a hobby of aerospace engineering. So it's uh, just a joke, but it's to explain that uh, uh, I was lucky enough to pursue uh, both my passions uh, since I was a kid professionally with uh, my ultimate target uh, to be uh, in space and perform uh, from there. I had, uh, I did the first steps um, and I had uh, three different projects on board the International Space Station where four uh, compositions of mine were uh, streamed uh, back to Earth. Together with it, uh, there are a lot of things uh, connected, and this is where I want also to uh, focus a bit uh, today. So, talking uh, about uh, space art, the main concept related to space art, which is that uh, space uh, is perceived correctly, under many aspects, as a highly technical, something a little bit abstract, because uh, sometimes I'm surprised that uh, I, I receive questions that for me are very trivial, but uh, is not uh, many things also, for example, about uh, the International Space Station uh, are not so obvious uh, to the general public. And uh, is also difficult for people to relate. So I was mentioning very correctly science fiction, that is a way to connect with people. And uh, art, uh, more in general, is a very powerful tool. So from STEM, uh, the addition uh, of art uh, is uh, uh, something that uh, makes uh, this uh, final frontier more accessible for people. I am proud uh, to say that uh, uh, I'm a pioneer uh, in uh, uh, the space art uh, movement uh, and uh, I'm seeing things moving very fast uh, in uh, uh, recent years. Talking about um, real music from space, uh, there is, uh, I'll show to you two examples from uh, two totally different space era. One is uh, with uh, astronaut Jean-Luc Chrétien that uh, in uh, the 80s uh, brought on board uh, um, the, uh, on the mirror the, a small uh, keyboard, the Yamaha keyboard, that now is uh, in exhibition at the museum. And the most recent, much more recent example of just uh, one year ago with uh, Sarah Gillis, which is uh, an aerospace engineer, astronaut uh, with SpaceX, uh, and also an excellent musician that uh, towards the end of the Polaris Dome mission uh, gave a breathtaking uh, violin performance. So these are uh, two examples uh, that uh, already um, put a seed in what uh, can be considered uh, actual space art. So, Talking about my personal experience, I'm very happy to um, introduce to you to a project which I'm very proud of, Astrobit, where uh, um, I've been uh, the uh, project leader both for the scientific part and the artistic part. Regarding the scientific part, Astrobit is a technological demonstrator that uh, tested the use of cold welding addition where you have uh, basically two metal fusing together between uh, some commas at uh, uh, ambient conditions. Um, and uh, to use uh, this phenomenon to repair damaged spacecraft following uh, a, an impact with uh, space debris that are really destructive and really powerful. This project um, has been an international collaboration uh, with uh, MCAS, the uh, Marta College for Art, Science and Technologies that uh, I represent. And I'm Italian and based in Malta, where I am a senior lecturer in aerospace engineering research, plus the collaboration involved the Southeast Technological University in Ireland. And a big role has been played also by NYU Abu Dhabi, 
for the scientific part, we have a center for uh, um, astrophysics and space science, and also for the artistic part that uh, I will introduce you uh, soon. So, here basically the concept was to have original music on board of experiment and to stream it uh, in uh, live events uh, from space uh, to Earth. And uh, this created uh, an event that connected uh, literally uh, many places, so Los Angeles, uh, Malta, Abu Dhabi, Houston, Italy. And uh, um, it uh, opened the door to many uh, activities. So, thanks to the music, uh, also numbers shows how you can reach a very wider public and the one uh, public that uh, um, is targeted is also the public of younger uh, people, above all students at a very early stage career when also they have still, let's say, to decide what they will want to do professionally. So here are some images with a collaboration at NYU Abu Dhabi. Here uh, you can see that uh, on uh, a full wall uh, at the Center for Astrophysics directed by Professor Andra Macho that you see in the central picture, they put uh, one photo of Astrobit uh, in space. Uh, and on the right, I'm uh, with uh, two professors of music, uh, Professor Carlo Guedes and Professor Matteo Marciano, with uh, who we organized uh, a space music contest for students. And so, this space music contest was open to all students and a lot of polymath appeared. So students that were studying, for example, biology and are studying opera singing, law and recording techniques. We got a lot of submissions and originally we were thinking to select one winner. We had really a lot of good music. We selected the two students that you see here on the left of the screen. Plus, um, I gave a seminar as a musician uh, to uh, students there in Abu Dhabi, a seminar uh, for the Department of Physics talking about the scientific side of uh, Astrobit, plus a lot of uh, additional activities to involve uh, younger uh, students. And uh, now I'm uh, super uh, proud um, to uh, present you the crown jewel of uh, this project, which is uh, the composition Moonseed. Moonseed. Talking about also plants uh, on the moon. So with Moonseed, I had uh, the huge honor to collaborate with uh, Grammy-nominated uh, cellist Tina Guo and the world-known producer uh, Steve Mazzaro. And besides being uh, a very big names uh, by themselves uh, in uh, the music uh, industry, they're also part of a team of Hans Zimmer. And they collaborated uh, for uh, very iconic uh, soundtracks. And when you say the name Hans Zimmer, above all to the general public, uh, everyone thinks uh, to Interstellar starting with it, but uh, not only. So you can uh, already imagine how has been the impact uh, of this project having uh, them uh, on board. And uh, I recorded uh, the uh, piano compositions in, um, in Abu Dhabi, where uh, uh, the state-of-the-art facilities were uh, made available for this project. And I recorded the video of Moonsets that you can find uh, on uh, um, YouTube. Um, I recorded it uh, in uh, Los Angeles uh, with uh, Tina Guo that you can see here uh, in uh, the picture. Moonseeds, uh, to say just in a nutshell what it's about, um, gets the inspiration from uh, real seeds uh, that were brought uh, with Apollo 14 mission uh, in uh, the 70s uh, and uh, they were also brought back to Earth uh, and uh, these seeds led uh, to trees that grow up and now this second generation of seeds will be back on the moon with the next Artemis mission. So there is always scientific part but I find it also incredibly poetic also because it's like a bridge between two total, totally different space era. So um, here, uh, the artwork uh, has been done by, created by a very talented uh, artist, Chiara Voretto, and you can see also the uh, recording that is uh, in, now in the Hall of Fame uh, there at uh, Anwayo Abu Dhabi, 
but just for information as uh, um, a huge uh, um, heart center, cultural center with a huge theater, red theater, blue hole and so on, where they organize constantly international events. So for me, uh, this makes me very proud also to be there with this project. Now, besides Moon Seeds, I also sent a second composition, Black Sun, where uh, it was taken the sonification of the sound of a black hole uh, uh, recorded uh, by NASA and uh, integrated in an experimental composition uh, for uh, piano that also is on YouTube and here there is the artwork uh, created by um, Arise One and uh, for uh, Black Sun uh, I had also the opportunity to collaborate with another polymath uh, Dr. Merit Moore that is known as the quantum ballerina why? Because she is uh, a quantum physicist and a professional ballerina, and she's also a professor there at uh, NYU Abu Dhabi. Now, this is uh, the artistic part. Here uh, I'm uh, just uh, super proud to share uh, with you images of a launch that had uh, still to happen last year in Milano because it was uh, still before uh, uh, the launch happened on the 5th of November. Here there was uh, the docking sequence, and uh, here you can see these uh, photos uh, done by Butch Wilmore, one of the two astronauts that got stranded uh, for uh, more than eight months on uh, the ISS uh, before installing uh, Astrobit in one of the racks uh, provided by Voyager Technologies. So I was also very happy to see the outreach part uh, related to, uh, to Voyager. Now, here uh, I put this just as a contrast uh, in terms of public outreach, uh, we shared uh, the operational phase, so all of the um, uh, test rig uh, when it was operating in orbit, and here are just some images that are quite technical if someone never uh, encountered this type of topics. And on the right, uh, there are two screenshots from the uh, two streaming events done uh, uh, at the end, uh, towards the end of the operational phase uh, while uh, Astrobit was uh, uh, on board of SS before it came back uh, to Earth. Now, this project uh, led to uh, also other beautiful uh, uh, follow-up and one of it that I mentioned as a special mention today is uh, the composition listen done for the Polymath Festival 2.0 which is uh, a global celebration of uh, interdisciplinary thinking that uh, uh, managed to bring together polymaths with a high, um, high profile in skills developed in uh, uh, multiple disciplines. And I was asked to create the soundtrack a soundtrack inspired by the concept of a cosmic effect, so the recording by NASA Parker Probe of a solar wind that creates the Aurora Borealis, where also for them it's possible to record the sound, and I used the piano as a sort of a spaceship. Plus, I took part to one of the panels that was the art of science. Now, here the public was very, very targeted. And I've been amazed in uh, one month since the release of Listen, so it's a pretty recent release. I was very amazed by the feedback and also the numbers in terms of streaming, views on the video, uh, social media. And it surprised me because uh, um, I wasn't expecting uh, such a resonance uh, with uh, uh, the general public. Now, Besides the streaming events, besides the releases, what is really important is the activity done above all live with people. So here are just three examples of events. One is a concert done in Abu Dhabi, one event done in Malta, uh, organized by the Italian Embassy, and one very recent one just two weeks ago on uh, Lake Como in, uh, in Italy, Lario Space where uh, I was invited both to present my project uh, Music from Space and Perform, plus uh, talking uh, um, in a one-to-one -one interview in a technical panel about uh, the scientific aspects uh, of this. So the live activity is very important because uh, before, during, after, you interface uh, with people and uh, 
is uncountable the number of uh, very interesting people that uh, I met. Plus, uh, I can say that Astrobit uh, had uh, a huge uh, uh, impact because uh, there have been uh, more than 200 um, articles uh, worldwide, so in uh, the uh, Middle East, uh, in uh, Europe uh, and the US, uh, more than 50 between interviews, podcasts and YouTube videos. Uh, uh, for papers, and now um, since there was the deadline to submit the presentation and I forgot to update the slide, uh, before the deadline there were still uh, two journal papers under revision, they are both approved, so we have uh, four journal papers, five conference papers, and uh, two uh, conference papers presented now here for this uh, edition of uh, IEC, and here there are just uh, very few examples of what you can find online, uh, googling uh, Astrobit, uh, and uh, uh, my name. So, conclusions. Astrobit for me is uh, a proof of concept, a sort of uh, blueprint uh, that uh, works, and it works amazingly, in my opinion, to um, merge and integrate cultural activities uh, into scientific space mission, and uh, both sectors help each other in uh, growing uh, and uh, in outreach and uh, public uh, dissemination. And uh, um, the final uh, take I want to share with you is that uh, it is true we are still not on Mars, it's true we have still to wait a while, I guess, for interstellar travel and before becoming a real uh, multiplanetary species. But uh, we see how much of the space activities are grown and also how many now space tourist, uh, tourists uh, uh, there are. So while we expand uh, our activities like uh, everywhere, first uh, we need uh, the technical part uh, to be solid to arrive, but as humans uh, we need, uh, we must bring our humanity in uh, everywhere we go, and uh, while we expand into the cosmos, uh, art is uh, an integral uh, part of it. If you are interested uh, about uh, my activities, uh, you can find uh, me on uh, all the main uh, social media platforms, uh, with my handler, which is the Space Pianist. I have uh, one book, I'm already taking to a second one, uh, with uh, the music score of the first two compositions uh, I streamed from the ISS, Mallet and Zero. I'm thinking to do a follow-up with uh, Astrobit, and you can find it uh, on Amazon. And uh, my website, uh, uh, which is uh, the Space Pianist. So that's all I have for today. Really, thank you for attention. I will be very happy to receive questions and see you up there. Thank you.